What we have here is a Beverly Hills Jubilee. It is a pinwheel type of fan. As far as pinwheels go, there really were only two types. And I think they were all made by Halsey. Alright, this type is the Beverly Hills version. Which uses normal blade irons with normal length blades. And a normal switch housing. Also including a three and a quarter inch fitter. We would normally have had a round globe, although I don't have that. I just have that. Yep. I just have that. Yep. Oh yeah. This is, I believe, I mean I haven't measured it, but I believe it's a 46 inch fan. Blade pitch is about 20 degrees. I think this has a 153 by 15, maybe 153 by 16 millimeter motor in it. Like I said, it is made by Halsey. Now the other version of the windmill is, not the windmill, the pinwheel, is the Quorum version, which I think may have come out under the Davenport naming before they changed to Quorum in 1992. But, um... Yeah, the pinwheel lasted until sometime probably in the uh, 2010s. This one, I think the pinwheel was actually discoed. So, mm, but so yeah, this is like I said, a pinwheel fan. It basically has the same housing as, say, any builder fan, any 42-inch builder. But the motor is pretty big for a 42, 44, 46 inch fan, and blade pitch is steep. So, how does it perform, I wonder? Hmm, let's see. So, we're going to put it on low. Now, when I saw these, you know, in Habacrafts and what have you, I kind of passed them off as cheap imitations of the uh, pinwheel from Corum. But, really, same shit, different toilet paper. So, I mean, you know, same OEM, just a different branding with slightly different specs, so... I would say this fan is probably from the early 90s. Because Beverly Hills stopped being a thing probably sometime in the mid 90s when they became the LA Fan Company. Which then evolved into the current modern fan company. But this was this is probably an early 90s fan. And I basically realized, oh, one of the habit crabs moved. So, I went to the, found the new location and hollowed out Babies R Us. Alright. Just still had a bunch of day turds, by the way. 48 inch, but yeah, they were still there. And anyway, saw this. Hmm, five bucks. It's like, okay, I'm leaving with you. I'd actually been up that way to get a couple of camera lenses off of someone off a of marketplace. So, this was just a random stop. So, then I was like, okay, the price is right. You're coming home with me. Because, you know, I had ignored one of these in the past. Kind of regretting that I did so, but whatever. But, yeah. So, nice, colorful fan. Now, let's... Put it to medium. Now, thankfully, this fan... Oh, my whole setting is all kinds of messed up. There we go. 60 frames per second. That's where I wanted it. But yeah, I mean, 
it's actually moving a pretty good amount of air even on medium and the speed's not bad either now I imagine I kind of have to imagine how this thing would perform with normal 42 inch blades in a six blade configuration I feel like it would move even more air now if I find a couple sets of 42 inch blades that fit these irons yeah you know what's coming next but mmm no Frankenstein today though so yeah I mean You, now, a fan like this, you'd think, you know, big fat blade, you'd think it's more for the aesthetic rather than function. Which is what most kids fans actually are. You know, they're just, just for the aesthetic, not really for real air movement. Because most kids fans are built like crap and they perform equally so. So, let's now put it on high. Now, this thing actually moves a lot of air. It actually moves quite a lot of air, more than I would have expected it to move. Yeah, so, I mean. I guess most palm bladed fans, you know, at least from the 90s and even 2000s, even 2010s, alright, are just for the aesthetic. They were slow. Oh, well, they'd move some air, but not a lot. So people would get them and like, Oh, why doesn't my fan move air? Like, you didn't understand what you were getting. These fat, palm-bladed fans are more for the aesthetic rather than function. Now, of course, that's starting to change. Because, you know, Hinkley actually bought up Regency. They introduced... Actually, they didn't introduce. They, they upgraded an existing palm-bladed fan that they had. Steepened the blade pitch to 20 degrees. Put a big, big DC motor in it. And it hauls. So, but aside from that, I mean, you know, we're talking simple concept here. Big fat blades. But this thing, it actually moves a lot of air. Probably because of how the blades are profiled. Because they're fatter more at the base rather than the tip. So, that by default means it's going to move more air. But still, it's a pretty big 153 in it at least. So, I mean... Overall, not bad. Now, do I want to put this thing in the museum? That's the real question, because these things are curious beings. You know. They didn't exist for too long, and for the most part, there was only one brand that had this style, and that was Korm. But, yeah, these things... They're not stupid, stupid common, but I've seen a couple of them, so... Figured, yeah get one while I could. Now well, let's let it coast. Yeah, I just happen to have a socket fitter adapter in my possession, so you can just put random glass shades wherever you want mm, to dress up those crappy porcelain sockets in basements or this or that. So, woo! The blade brackets are pretty malleable, which means they bend easily, which means trying to balance one of these things is a pain in the ass, but I figured it out for the most part. Because I also have an actual pinwheel, and that thing wobbles like hell. So, mm. what I really need to do is put regular blades on that and just, you know, balance the normal way. But we're not talking about that right now. But anyway, here you have it. A Beverly Hills Jubilee pinwheel type fan. Woo!